All right, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Movie Talks and Chill. We are hosts. I'm Tony Serrato. I'm Gavin Butts. I'm Patrick Wall. And in this episode, uh, Gavin, you had the thought on this one, so why don't you tell us what we're talking we about? We are talking about magical movies. Ooh. Ooh. Mystical, magical. Abracadabra. <laughs> Expelliarmus, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the day after Halloween, yeah. then that... This is when we're talking about magic. And yes, Hunter's yeah. Moon. Hunter's Moon was last night. I saw that. Oh, it was so giant and beautiful. And I still didn't get laid. But anyway, uh, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> you should learn magic. I should learn magic. <laughs> you should just cast, yeah, because cast a spell. That's what swoos women. It's close-up magic. Yeah. Card yeah, tricks. yeah exactly. Well, I'm, just, no, I'm saying you need to put magic. a spell on them. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, he keeps your quarter, by yeah. the way. <laughs> so technically, That yeah. shit wasn't in my ear. I know that. <laughs> Would you consider Jedi's having magic with their mind well, tricks? Space well, wizards. I mean, I, yes. I would space definitely wizards. say now with uh, with Ahsoka being like and and the uh, and the Night Sisters being introduced, which they've always been technically the Night Sisters have always been there. Yeah, it's they, finally they, that Disney is putting them into. A, they finally made them something. canon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But they were in the video of, games uh, that they allowed to be produced. Well, I think they were also weren't they in um, Rebels too. That, um, I don't or know. Not I never Rebels, watched but, uh, Rebels. Clone Wars. Clone I Wars? Think. Yes, they were. Because they were the people that brought back um, the guy from Phantom Menace. The fuck's his name? Uh, Darth Maul. Thank Darth you. Maul, yes. yeah. So the night he was part of the Night Sisters. He was just a male of their tribe. So they yeah. made him. <laughs> him and him and his brother. It's bro- a truly sexist, gender defining. Well, it was him and his brother, yeah. uh, Savage Opress? Something like that. Opress or whatever. Well, what about the other guy from, uh, what was it? Uh, Either, was it the Mandalorian or Book of Boba Fett? The the one guy, he's the comedian. He was also in one of the. He was in the Eternals. Oh, Bill Burr. No, not Bill Burr. He was the guy that was pretending no. to be a Jedi. Oh, the, the guy from the Eternals. Oh, What's yeah. his name? Oh, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, in yeah, like yeah. so many uh, things. Uh, uh, yeah, Camille Ken, Nanjani. Uh, Nanjani, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. he was technically an illusionist. He was. Yeah. He was he tricking was. people. Yeah. So it's kind well, of. He had like force abilities, but it wasn't like full on. It was like. He never got trained. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he could make shit move, but yeah. yeah. I, I interpreted it as he was um, the therapist from Star Trek Next Generation. She couldn't read thoughts, she could just sense emotions. Yeah. So <laughs> she was only half beta zoid. She was there, but yeah. not really there. <laughs> he was kind of like, uh, oh, what's his name? Um, oh, the, the wizard from The Wizard of Oz, you know. Pretending to be ah, yeah. all green power, but he was just some dude with a bunch of special green effects. Yeah. Literally yeah. right behind the curtain. Yeah. Special <laughs> effects and, you know, had some smoke machines. And, <laughs> and back then a green screen was amazing, but I've, yes, got, I've got two in this apartment right now. <laughs> they are a dime a dozen. What do you well, got, we got two Oz. black screens, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got to be racist. Well, we got a white one, too. We got just, to well, that's racist. just to balance it out. <laughs> just to balance it out. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> Balance like the force. So, all right. So, uh, movies about magic. Uh, go yes. ahead, you kick it off. So, I would. Um, I was. I would bet that I know your answer, but that's only because you told it to us five minutes ago before we turned on the mics. True. Yeah. I um, when I when I grew up, Willow was one of my favorite movies. Willow. And and that was. Um, oh man, what's his what's his name? Uh, the actor. Uh, because he was in all the Harry Potter movies, too. as, as one Oh, of the he's goblins. one of the professors, and, uh, wasn't he? Well, he was one of the professors. Yeah. He was some of the goblins. Like, uh, all right, I'm going to look it up. It, thank, thank you. <laughs> carrying my, around the, my phone's so far away. It's right over here. <laughs> he's that small dude carrying around that baby the whole time. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, not only that, you know, he was... Warwick uh, Davis. Uh, Warwick Davis. Yep. Uh, so he's also carrying around, um, what was her name? Solyndria's wand. The other, yeah. um, he had to turn her back, and he, and he kept, kept turning screwing it up. Yeah, kept screwing it up, turning it to a like a sloth and, yeah. a, and, a, and a goat, a pig at one time, I think. <laughs> oh too. no, no, that was uh, the the um, that was when they went to the castle. She turned all of them into pigs. Okay, and he had to turn them back, or or rather, she did. But I remember he'd always just shake with the wand. Yeah, he was trying to get the magic yeah. out. He's mm-hmm. like, yeah! Willow. <laughs> And you had the the brownies, the little guys. Yeah. <laughs> a curse of a thousand broken hearts. <laughs> good movie. It was a very good movie, and the yeah. um, the the show wasn't bad either. Uh, I never watched the show. They it already were, got canceled. Though, yeah, yeah. It went one season and they canceled it, but it was decent. Heartless bastards. Uh, I know. Like, how do you how do you give us just one season and say screw <laughs> you, man? Hey, they did it to Firefly. They could do it to Willow. They did it to Daybreak too. 
Yes, they Don't did. Remind me of that. Uh, yes, they did. Fucking love Daybreak. I'm so <laughs> pissed about that. Moving on. Yes. <laughs> what about you, Patrick? What is your magical movie? Um, so when Gavin told us about this, uh, two movies immediately popped into mind. One I genuinely enjoy. I think it's a really fun movie, and it's called Now You See Me. Um, oh, you son of a... I'm sorry. <laughs> it wasn't me this time. <laughs> I thought you were going to go a completely different route. I thought you were going to go like Harry Potter style. Like, <laughs> uh, that's why I was asking. Are we talking strictly like abracadabra right. magic, like like sorcery magic? Because I had that in my head. Bastard. Anyway, move on. Go ahead. Okay. So now you see me. Tony clearly knows and all about it. Now you don't see me. I'm Because yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking fired, apparently. Fuck you, fuck you. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to see me make myself disappear? <laughs> abracadabra. <laughs> So if you haven't seen the movie, it's all about four practical magicians doing card tricks, cons, swindlers, and they all... The this, Four Horsemen. The Four yeah. Horsemen, that's what they become to know as mm-hmm. in their Vegas um, you know, show. And they're all brought together by an unknown person. It's clearly made who it is by the end of the movie, but no spoilers. Well, I mean, when, when did this come out? 2017? 2016? It's, no, earlier than It's that. been close to almost 10 years. Yeah. Well, not 10 years. Maybe 6 or 7? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, spoilers, yeah. it's Mark Ruffalo. He brings them all together to take down an evil corporation. And he doesn't become the Hulk. No. <laughs> it was after he was, uh, you know, Professor Hulk. Yeah, it yeah, was yeah. after he was Professor Hulk. He used his brains. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's just a really fun movie. Like, even all the tricks, you know, there's clearly some CGI, there's some green screen, there's some um, Wait, practical effects going on. But They it, make it more elaborate, but, like, yeah, but the, they, the way that they deliver it is hmm. actually real. Like, the people can do that. Yeah, they have real showmanship. Yeah. I was genuinely impressed. Like, Jesse Eisenberg really isn't, the, like, the biggest showman. I could see Woody Harrelson stealing a show. But, like, they they were trained how to be showmen for but, this movie, I would but say. But Woody mm-hmm. Harrelson's character, like, with the with the, um, the mind reading and the manipulation... Mm-hmm. He doesn't do well. He does hypnotism, but he his his he does John is more like, stuff. His he does like micro facial readings. Right, and stuff. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's he's more a like, mentalist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a he yeah. like asks questions and he yeah. reads you. Like he can. He's a human lie detector. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's called dry reading, if I remember correctly. Okay, um, but I do like in the movie how they explain how they all did these movies, uh, these tricks, and everything. Like in the context of the yeah. movie, it's like, oh, this is real simple. We just fucked with your mind. We did it that way. Um, so that was a really good um, magic movie, in my opinion. I, and I, I like Michael Caine being the bad guy. Yeah, and which they got rid of like halfway through enough. the movie. Well, yeah, and I yeah. was like, all right, what are we going to do next for the next hour and fifteen minutes? Well, you also <laughs> think Morgan Freeman's the bad guy all the way through too. Yeah, and spoiler alert: he's technically not. He technically is you, too. Well, you also don't find that out until the second movie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way. Uh, I like the second movie, but I hated Woody Harrelson's twin. Yeah. in that movie with with the hair, yeah. <laughs> the stupid ass hair yeah. piece. Yeah. I thought that was just dumb as shit. Like they could have just replaced that character with literally anyone else, and the movie would have been perfectly fine. Well, by the then, by the way, if you see me wincing, I had a forty five pound weight hit my foot, so I apologize. <laughs> when I whenever I move my foot, I can feel my heart beating in my head. <laughs> At least you don't feel it in your foot. <laughs> True. <laughs> I got a magic trick. Maybe I can make you scream. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, the funny thing actually about Now You See Me 2, the second one, is we're talking about magic. So that's a movie about practical magic, but the main bad guy in it is Daniel Radcliffe, who was yeah. Harry Potter yeah. Yeah. and sorcery magic. Yeah. <laughs> and he was, he was um, well, he thought... He, uh, it, it was never clear at the at the end. He thought he was like one of Michael Caine's uh, like, illegitimate kids. Mm-hmm. Because yes, apparently yes, Michael yes, Caine yep. hoarded up, you know, because you know billionaires do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's Michael Caine. Yeah, well, he's Michael Caine. <laughs> he's Michael Caine. <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't hoard you up? See, with you see, you got to talk like this. You, <laughs> you got to put your your lips real close when you talk like Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you that story about uh, there was a comedian that worked with him on a movie. And he asked him, he got to see him off offset, and he mm-hmm. said, you know, what when you decide like what makes you decide to do movies, like how do you choose? Like you're Michael Caine, you've done a lot of stellar stuff, yeah. you've done you know, you've been around for a long time, minus Jaws for the Revenge. <laughs> <laughs> um, which he even admitted he feels bad about doing. I have a quick follow up on that though. But uh, so he asked him too, and he's like, Well, what I do, he's like, I get the script and I sit in my chair 
and I open up the script. And if my character's on the first page, and if my character's on the last page, then I do the fucking picture. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing with Harrison Ford. And he's like, what the, What makes you decide to do a film? He's like, how much are you going to pay me? <laughs> uh, so he said he, that on Jimmy Fallon, too. Yeah, you know. <laughs> so Michael Caine was, was um, he was doing an interview, and he was talking about a guy. He said, a guy came up to him. He said, you know, I saw that Jaws 4. He's like, you know, it was really awful. He's like, have you seen it? Like asking Michael Caine, he said, "No, I haven't seen it, but I saw the house it it bought my mother." Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "You know what? You make a bad movie, that's the best comeback <laughs> to anything. Yep. Doesn't matter the paycheck paid, right? Yep. The check clear. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not in the mail. It's, it's, it went through the bank account. We're good." <laughs> So Just, um, I have a second one go locked ahead. and loaded. Well, well, Tony no, has go ahead. No, no. His... I want to hear his second one now. Okay. Let's see if he's going to piss me off even more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one might actually surprise you because this one scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, but I genuinely enjoy it now as an adult, even though I haven't seen the remake. It's The oh. Witches from 1990. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's okay. fine. I remember when oh, I oh when they ah, peel their face yeah, off. yeah, yeah or yeah. their nose or whatever yeah, that was. one yeah, yeah, yeah the, like the, the first scene in like the lobby and they're all just taking off their skin and their faces and we're like, going to turn the whole children into mice yeah and then, <laughs> and then they got like the long fingers yeah. and shit <laughs> and the movie kind of got, got a little fun when the kid turned into a mouse it and did. he's running through the hotel trying to escape these witches but that scene where they all turn into witches freaked me the fuck out when I was a kid. Wasn't okay. the um wasn't the grandmother a witch too, but she was just like she was a good witch so she wasn't disfigured? Something like that. It's been uh, it's been around for over 30 I, yeah, years no, at this I, point. I, I, I'm a little fuzzy on it too. I, <laughs> I, I, I do witch. remember that part though. Yeah, I think yeah, I think you're right. The grandmother was like a witch and she was like lured there or something yeah. like that. I um, thought you were going to say Fantasia to be honest with you. <laughs> it is I mean, locked and loaded. I was going to say it. <laughs> I you talk about that movie first. No, no, I'm good. That's not my favorite movie. I uh, guess that's what I, I thought you were going I, with. I still just remember Peter being on Falcor, and he's like, yeah, you're a little heavy, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we're going down. <laughs> yeah, and then he crashes, and Peter just goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I remember growing up, I would after school, I'd go to my grandma's house, and she had two VHS, uh, three VHS movies. One was Mary Poppins mm-hmm. with... Uh, uh, Dick Van Dyke. Mm-hmm. One was a Woody Woodpecker special. It was like three cartoons filled an hour and a half. Mm-hmm. And then the other one was the original Fantasia with Mickey Mouse. And were they all the ones that had the, the big puffy cases? Like they were almost yep. soft bound? Yeah. You know, yep. the, the Disney, the you classic throw, Disney style. Yes, you could throw exactly. that thing out of a moving jumbo oh, jet yeah, and it exactly. would survive. <laughs> there's one, I gotta find the name of it, but there's, it's a side note on that, but there's a uh, VHS, there's one particular movie, Disney movie, that apparently it's a version of it, or there's a cover version of it that's mm-hmm. so rare. And I'm talking about VHS that collectors will pay, like, I think it's like a couple hundred thousand dollars for it. It might be like a 101 Dalmatians, but it's like something on the cover. Mm-hmm. There's only been a few made of, like, it's like an emblem or a picture or something. It's not like any of the other ones. Something? Yeah, but it, it made to, like, maybe only 100 copies. It looks but like I'm going scrolling through my mom's VHS. I was, no, I was uh, say, I'm, calling, I'm calling my mom as hey, soon as we get down. Every yard sale, people. Every yard sale. Be like, but do you know a... what the discrepancy is that we need to look for? Yeah. So is there 102 can, Dalmatians? No, 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 we'll no, no, figure no. it out. No. We'll figure it out. No, you can. Uh, you can look we'll it up. Buy so, them all. I, I can't remember how I found. It. I think I was just looking up like you know rare vintage 80s or 90s you know items for sale to see if I still had any of that stuff and what it's worth. And of course, my sister threw away. All of my toys that I took very good care of, so you know I could have like two million dollars in my pocket, but you know we're not going to bring that up anymore. Hey, the past, the past, it's over, it's over. I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not upset about it or anything. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, care. so Tony, what's your fave? Well, oh, it would be some top for you. Took that one. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm trying to. I, I was like, because I had a couple ideas. I mean, there's some. Now You See Me is like definitely my one of my favorite magic ones. I also like the stuff where, kind of like Oceans, the Oceans movies, yeah. where it's like you see it, but then it all gets explained. You're like, right. oh, that really could happen. That could see, do it. Yeah, they unfold everything at yeah. the end. Yeah. Um, which I technically, there's some magic in Oceans movies. Because oh, yeah. like when, what's his oh, name? Uh, Matt Damon's character when the, in the very beginning when he first meets him in the first one. And he's like, that's the best. Uh, that's the best, best cool lift. I've yeah, seen you do. Yeah, and he yeah, has the wall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, um, I, I don't know. I like him in the third one. He's like, dude, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm Pepperidge. I, I am yeah, him. You yeah, know? <laughs> I'm in him deep. I am Pepperidge. Get 
fly into Gilroy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the nose plays. The, the nose definitely plays. The nose plays, yeah. Plays. <laughs> uh, but, you know, if you go back to... You mentioned a, a name earlier, and... Quick follow-up, it the... is a version of 101 Dalmatians. Okay. There is a little black diamond on the box that says this one is worth a lot more than the rest. Yeah, what's it? I can't remember what it goes uh, for. It so... went for $14,000. It was only fourteen. <clears> oh, that's more than that. Yeah, fourteen thousand dollars. But I mean, it has to be the one from like nineteen sixty one. I don't. It has to of, have like a little black diamond on it. I don't get out of bed for less than twenty. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, my credit cards definitely wouldn't have yeah. fourteen thousand yeah. dollars. Fuck that. No point. <laughs> I'm gonna find it at a garage sale for like twenty cents. Yeah, and I'll be like, I That's feel what, so bad what I'm about to do here, but here what, go. guys. <laughs> Can I get a receipt for that? Our equipment's <laughs> about to get upgraded. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but no, so for me, I mean, would you consider the never-ending story? Yeah. I mean, no, I, that is, I mean, it's a magical land. It's, it's the Orin is magical. It is. The Alcor is magical. Well, well magical. and so is, so is the nothing, technically. Yeah. It's the nothing. Would, it's the nothing. That, I would say that is a magical it's, movie. I mean, I would and say maybe. And not just maybe, emotional. Yeah, it's maybe magical. The nothing, it's magical. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, that was our childhood growing up. Like, <laughs> no wonder we got problems. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Well, it's not, if you think about it, I mean, you can kind of ruin it for yourself because there's that scene at the very, very end. Why are you giving up, Falcor? Oh, no, what was, uh, what was the horse's no, name? Artex. Uh, Artex. Yeah. Artex! Why are you giving up? <laughs> yeah, like, when he's falling into the swamps of despair. <laughs> can we turn off the camera? Artex! No. Artex! No. Please! I've got something in both my eyes. It's raining in my apartment. <laughs> but to ruin it, though, if you go back and watch the the very ending when everything's being destroyed and then the kids actually uh bastion's actually sitting with uh the, the or not, he's or not sitting, well he's not sitting with her at the point but he hears her yeah and she's screaming at him it's uh, like call my name yeah say yeah. my name it's like the original <laughs> say my name bitch I'm like damn <laughs> all right so to ruin all your childhoods, there you go. It was actually very dirty. Um, <laughs> then she said, spank me. And <laughs> yeah. And then we're on a different movie. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now we're on porn up. Yeah. <laughs> that was the never-ending horny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so never I would say, if, if, <laughs> aside from like the Harry Potter series, that would, the never-ending yeah, story yeah. is a childhood thing. I really liked it. I mean, I guess you could consider the cartoon The Secret of Nim. Because there is like yeah. sorcery in that one, yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. a very wholesome, nice movie. Yeah, I like that one. It's a good one for the kids, and you can't make it dirty. No, no, you can't. Well, I mean, I guess you can make anything. I'm about dirty. to bring up a movie that you could easily make dirty. Okay. Because of David Bowie. Called, oh, Labyrinth. Yeah, called ah. Labyrinth. Ah. The only thing he did in that movie was kidnap a child and then thrust his you know, crotch into the camera. Every time gonna, he danced. I was going to say, I did not know where you were going to go when you said thrust, and I was like. <sighs> Under pressure, <laughs> pushing down on me. <laughs> don't really want that kind of pressure, man. Um, but if you haven't seen that movie, it's uh, we don't have an HR department right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your HR department, and I'm saying it's fine. It's oh fine. dear God! <laughs> uh, but if you haven't seen the Labyrinth from 1986, somewhere around there. Sure. I, we'll, yeah, we'll go with that. Sounds Plus, about right. also David Bowie's dead. Yeah. Well, he died in like the mid 2000s, so I mean, there's a long span. But either way. If you haven't seen it, uh, the Goblin King, played by David Bowie, steals a child that was being babysat by a hot girl of the time. Can't remember her name at the moment. So you have to watch that and also Zoolander. Yes, because <laughs> he does do the. Well, he was the greatest judge ever. Yeah, right. <laughs> and he was writing something in his hand, but he wasn't holding a pen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah he's like sitting there taking notes and shit with no pen. <laughs> Um, and but he does a couple of musical. Um, he's wearing just like a skin tight leotard with what can only assume is an extra large cup. That's and what he wore on stage. <laughs> it's like this it is the was supposed to be a children's different. movie. Yeah, it was nothing different though. <laughs> he walked off a concert and went to, to the went cast to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> but all he would done was dance around and thrust his hip towards the camera. <laughs> And then, by the way, that right. poor babysitter is running through the labyrinth. He's changing the walls and the rules and everything. After this episode, we're going to talk about the, the, the times that you can use the word thrust. Yes, thrust. <laughs> Stop it. It's like moist. You can't use it all the time. <laughs> it's nowhere near that bad. Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is what I say. It. <laughs> thrust. God damn it. All right, so, okay, you do talk it Makes next. my foot hurt. <laughs> So what other thrusting movies do you have to talk about? 
He performed a moist thrust. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh. It hurts everywhere. <laughs> we don't have ads turned on on YouTube, but yeah. if we did, we would be automatically yeah. demonetized yeah. in that sense. <laughs> yeah. I do. As, as Thanksgiving is coming up, I do the, the, most, the most Thanksgiving card I've ever read was, may your turkey always be moist and may no one ever say that it is. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely I was love like, that. I, would, I just want to buy a thousand copies of this and just give it out every year. <laughs> Good stuff. So I would say... Uh, back to magic. Back movies. to magical movies. <laughs> I would say the, uh, I mean... Oh, wait, 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 I, I love, I for love the record, this. we're not talking about emotionally magical movies, like movies that involve magic. Exactly. exactly. Otherwise, we're talking about Fault in Our Stars. It, 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 no. Stop it. <laughs> I'm not crying again. Um, I would say, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but The Craft. Yeah. Yes. And I mean. Once again, another movie that scared the piss out of me. When scared I was the piss out of you? It yeah. was Hot Chicks. Yeah, I was like, we were 10 when that movie came out. It doesn't matter. They were hot goth chicks, which is why I have a fetish for hot goth chicks. (laughs) Hot chicks scare Patrick. You (laughs) must have matured a little bit faster than I did, because at 10, I was not focused on that. He walks into a strip club and is like, ah! (laughs) Patrick, I'm sorry I didn't get laid until I was 18, but... (laughs) To be fair, nowadays I'll do that if it's the wrong strip club. I've been to some bad ones. (laughs) Oh, I misread the sign outside. (laughs) Is that a C-section scar? What the hell's nice. going on? <laughs> I, I thought you were going to say a kickstand. Yeah. <laughs> the one over there is hobbling with a peg leg. Is she a fucking pirate? Yes, she is. <laughs> you know, Shelly can run a three-legged race by herself. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the craft was like... <laughs> getting back to magical movies. The craft was, you know, they, they had... Uh, it was the three girls... But they never had like the full what they called the coven, yeah. And so they finally got the fourth girl, and they could invoke what is like the spirit of the west or yeah, some shit. It basically called on a demon, and it possessed the other girl, and she went batshit crazy. What does they do? Yeah, well, you know they're women, so. <laughs> yeah, but that the is, do not that is not a representation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do not reflect the reviews. Yeah, of I mean, I, I, don't, I don't mean that all women do that, but um. Yeah, women do that. <laughs> We've rewind for the past 10 seconds. The views of Gavin do not represent the views of Movie Talks and Chill. Stick around for the follow-up episode of <laughs> Jaded Gavin. Of, is... of why I'm single. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's now a documentary. We're following his court case. <laughs> the Jaded Man. <laughs> not bitter. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Say it one more time and I'll believe you. Shut up. <laughs> he didn't say, say it the third time. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like Bloody Mary or Candyman. Yeah. Beetlejuice, oh, actually. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Yeah. You know what that fucker around here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I just really don't want any... powers you don't understand, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> I mean, I guess technically that could be a magical movie as as well. Yeah, because it's you know crossing over to the spirit realm and shit, which is part of oh, how all Halloween. I forget about this movie. Uh-oh. I mean, you use uh, you know any kind of Ouija board. Oh. That's all magic. Yeah, it's all the occult. <laughs> Which technically, if you're talking about the occult, Ghostbusters would be considered a magical yeah. movie. Touché. I would give the second one because he, but Ray opened up Ray's occult. Yeah, hmm. the and bookstore. He, I mean, and even in the uh, in the first right. one, they were talking about like what was it, that Tobin Spirit Guide or something yeah. like that. Yeah, but the second one was where they used magic to bring forth v- Vigor the Carpathian. And then the third one, he had Vigo. the bookstore. Vigo, Vigo the Carpathian. Mm-hmm. And the third one, um, Ray did have the bookstore and all that. But the first one, he it was just... the second one. What? He had the bookstore in the second one. Did he? Yeah. Yeah, because okay. in the second yeah. one, they got sued by every city, county, and state from the oh, first yeah. one. Yeah. So they all had to find regular gigs. Okay. And he, had, he opened they up were, his bookstore. Him and Winston were doing, like, birthday parties. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. And he um, had this occult bookstore and... Uh, Ray's occult. Ray's occult. <laughs> I don't... I don't know if I would classify the first one as magic. Paranormal, yes. Yeah, like, yeah. But I don't know if magic was involved in the first one. No, I don't think... I, I, I agree with you on that one. The mm. second one with, with the ooze and everything and bringing back stuff like through mm. the ooze, yeah, I could yeah. say that was... The ooze. The mm. ooze. The slime. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. It's, uh, it's, it's so bad. I mean, ooze if, is it, Ninja Turtles. It, yeah, yeah, I, I was, right, ooze is Ninja Turtles. Okay, I was just about to say, if <laughs> ooze is a main component... Touche. Teenage Mutant Ninja myself. Turtles, the secret of the ooze is... Yeah. Or Apparently. if you want to get technical, technical, te- uh, ectoplasmic residue. You know, if you want to really want to bring it out. But, all right. So, so anyway. 
Well, what about um, uh, oh, The Witches of Eastwick? Yeah. That's yeah. a fun one. Mm-hmm. I like, saw it once when I was Jack in college. Nicholson and, you know, it's, it's good stuff, man. Yeah. Um, uh, there was there was the other version of that, the the ones of uh, Ipswich. They were still uh, the Salem town. Mm-hmm. And so it was like the four, four guys who were in high school and they were like all cool and shit. Mm-hmm. But the, the twist on that one was if you use your magic you like age your body past where it's supposed to be. Okay. So he like, he, he introduces his girlfriend to his dad who's basically on his deathbed and he's like, this is my father. He's 48 and he's on a fucking ventilator mm. because like he used magic so much it, it like took a toll on his, like takes a toll on your body. Mm. Yeah, you can't do that. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. No. Well, and then I mean, you can't wish for more wishes either. <laughs> well, if we're talking about using stuff and, and now, this one can get kind of tricky, but it does almost use magic as Big Trouble in Little China. Ooh, Fuck her. Yeah. That was my next one. I okay. mean, God damn it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you like it? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> how do you like it? Because <laughs> I, like like <laughs> I was going to bring up a good movie. I was going to bring up a good movie, Big Trouble in Little China, and a very bad movie. <laughs> then I'll wait until you're done talking about Big well, Trouble in Little we don't, China. We don't have any girls with green eyes, so we can't talk about it. I'm sure we can find it. I, mean, <laughs> I can get you a girl with green eyes. There are ways you don't want to know. I get you a girl with green eyes. There's ways you don't want to know. I'm trying to Big Lebowski. You know, I can get you a toe. Yeah. There's ways. You don't want to know. Get you a toe. I can have you toe by one. <laughs> Touche. Touche. She has green eyes. <laughs> that, and that was, the, that was the whole thing about the, about the whole movie. Is like, oh, we have two girls with green eyes. Okay. Whoop de do. <laughs> okay, so then let me ask you this then. So is well curses would be considered magic, right? Yeah. So then what about mannequin? She had the curse and was stuck as the plastic. Okay. Doll. Yeah, yeah. What? Please don't. That was your bad movie? No, he hasn't seen it. No, oh, figured that. <laughs> Andrew McCarthy, Kim Cattrall, who was also in Big Trouble Little yeah. China. Yeah. And she's also one of the bigger stars in Egypt. In she, City. She's like lives in Egypt, like back in the Egyptian times. Until they just clicked for three more movies. And uh, and then she get, basically gets stuck. I can't remember how, exactly how it happened, but she's supposed to marry this pharaoh thing she didn't want to. She runs away, but she ends up getting like stuck or frozen in time or yeah. whatnot. And her essence or whatever you want to call it, spirit, ends up in this mannequin. Andrew McCarthy is in New York. He's kind of like a... He's going from job to job. He can't... He just can't do things right. He wants to be an artist, but he's working these regular jobs, and he sucks at them. And so he ends up accidentally falling into getting this job. styling mannequins. Yeah, like it's a mannequin the, uh, in this department store mm-hmm. who the woman in it was Estelle Getty, who played you know the mom in Golden Girls. Oh, yeah. He saves her from a sign hitting her. She owns Which, the store, so she gives him a job. Golden Girls, you know the mom, Dorothy, like the older lady? was no, actually was Dorothy. You, what? No, that wasn't Dorothy. Oh, Dorothy. Dorothy was the daughter of okay. the mother. Right. She but was the actually mom, younger than, than yeah, the other three. Yeah, she which was the youngest one. Which yeah. was ridiculous. That blew my mind about two months ago when I learned that. Yeah, but if you saw Estelle Getty in other movies, she mm-hmm. didn't look like they aged her in makeup they did. for the Golden Girls. She must have spent four hours in the chair every fucking day. Well, if you yeah. see her in Mannequin or if you saw her in Don't uh, Stop or My Mom Will Shoot. Which oh, oh yes. yeah. I've seen that movie. <laughs> yeah, so Freaking, she's much uh... younger looking in that. <laughs> Uh, but Sylvester so, Stallone. Yeah. So anyway, but it's got all you know. It's got them. But he ends up making these mannequins. Well, she ends up coming alive. But only like he, after but, midnight. Yeah, or only like when that? he's around. Yeah, yeah. And so, but if anybody else comes in, she goes back to being a plastic. And the security or, guard, which was he was the guy from Police Academy. Yeah, too, I can't remember his name. Yeah, captain. he was the asshole guy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name? He's like, move it, move it, move, move it. Um, he had, um, he had the, lieutenant. He had the dog too. Yeah. And he, and, he, and he had his partner Proctor. <laughs> yeah, and that was the thing was like he was trying to destroy the mannequin at yeah, the end of the movie. He almost looks like um, Colonel Harry Mayborn from SG One. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Kind of like that. Yeah, I can't remember. It's like I it's can't remember started, his name, but so anyway, I will bring it around oh, seven ways. From and uh, uh, um, was it James Spader's in it? If I remember correctly, he's he's the guy that's. That's working for her. Yeah, yeah. And he's trying to sell... Get Sergeant the Harris. His name is G.W. Bailey. G.W. Okay. Bailey. But look, just type in a mannequin. Sergeant and, Harris. And I want to say it's James Spader that, <laughs> that played the other character, but he plays like... If you looked at him, like you know him by his voice. Yeah. But when I saw the movie back then, I didn't realize that was He was like was the him. sales rep or something, right? Yeah, he was like a VP. Yeah. But... His name was Richards. Richard, yeah. yeah. Um, but he was... Uh, 
So he's partnering with that other major department store because they're trying. They're, they're they trying haven't to buy sold. It out. Yeah, because yeah. that was the whole thing. Is the store hasn't been doing well. The business hasn't been coming in. She inherited it from her father who had passed away. She wants to make it good. So when uh, uh, Kim Cattrall becomes real, she starts helping him make all these elaborate window designs, mm -hmm. and then so it starts, it starts bringing, bringing all these more, people yeah. in, and so he business. starts getting promoted and stuff, mm -hmm. but. The, the night watchman, design. the night watchman guy that from mm. police academy, uh, G.W. Bailey, he's constantly after him trying to because the other guys, James Spader's telling them to watch him, yep. mm, like yeah. watch out for him, and he's got that little dog uh, Rambo. Yeah, Rambo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He's that little bulldog Rambo. <laughs> come and, on, Rambo. Yeah, come on, Rambo. <laughs> Rambo. Uh, so anyway, he's constantly trying to catch him. You know, they figure out if he's doing something wrong, and it's it goes back and forth, and then she, she finally becomes alive at the end. Yeah, oh. happy ending. Nice. In the middle of a trash compactor. So, yeah. <laughs> yes. So technically, it's a magical movie because she was cursed. Okay. Touche. And their love undid the spell. Oh. Aww. It's like a fish what, called Wanda. What was that? Uh, what was that? <laughs> Let them say we're crazy. What do they know? Oh, Starship. Or, uh, uh, Star, uh, that, made the, Starship. that made the freaking movie. Like, oh, yeah. the two of them saying the, the, uh, the side by side. We can't this day together. <laughs> <laughs> Live is strong forever. Nothing's gonna stop us now. <laughs> and you're welcome, listeners. <laughs> I'm just happy they stopped before we got sued. <laughs> we were only at twelve. Yeah, seconds. we had we had three bars in. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> Can we talk about a couple of really shitty movies? Sure. sure. <clears throat> All right. The first one stars Shaq, which should tell you how bad this movie is. Okay. It's called Kazam. Ah. Okay. <laughs> ah. I remember Kazam. Sadly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I have to say, yes, I've seen this movie. Thank that you. one you saw? I was Out of all the other <laughs> things you've seen? <laughs> when did this movie come out? Just to me. 1996. 96. So I was 11. So I don't think a lot of fault is you know put on me on this one. Shaq, a great basketball player, even though I'm not a big basketball fan, but great, but he was never meant to really do movies. No. no. Like when he did Steel was just as bad. Man of Steel? Oh, God. Oh, no, no, Steel? just Steel. It was, it was just Steel, Steel? yeah. Steel? I yeah. actually like that one more than Kazam. I mean, the bar is low. Yeah. But no, don't get me wrong. No, I will say Adam Sandler puts him good in his movies as a small part. Yeah. Yes. Small part. It's a cameo. Like yeah. he's playing yeah. Shaq in it, his movies. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. But he's humorous then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not trying to be magical or super. Yeah. But he played a genie in Kazam and yeah. like he did a couple of monkey paw things and really fucked over the kid's life. Like it's a standard genie, you not really knowing what you asked for, but for children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Shaq plays the genie. Like, it was... And he tried to do his, like, you know, his smirk and his big eyes and everything. Yeah, that. Yeah. And, like, you can't... Say, you're not The Rock. You don't no. have that look no. to save the entire movie. Yeah, the... The, in, the, the smoldering intensity. That, the people's eyebrow. I, I just rewatched. <laughs> the smolder. <laughs> the the uh, smoldering intensity. Yeah, yeah. I just rewatched Jumanji, the one with him. <laughs> yeah. For like right. the fifth time. I love that movie. I think it's great. I even like it. Well, I, I mean, the second one was a little bit. It was too much, like, stuff in it, but. I like it when his. Uh, when um, Dane DeVito is supposed to be him. Yeah. Mm. He's like, well, you Spencer? Yeah. He's like, what are you talking about? I gotta, I gotta do what? I gotta do this over here. <laughs> He's just got the freaking the or like the New Jersey accent yeah. on him. Um, and I can't remember um, the other the guy's name, the black guy. What's his name? Kevin Hart. Thank you, no. Kevin Hart. When he's trying to be Danny, De uh, not Danny, De uh, Michael uh, Donald Glover. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, did I just get Mikey did, killed did I? because I talked too slow? He Man, always he always said, said that. Yeah. <laughs> he always said I would kill him because I talked too slow. <laughs> <laughs> the, the best part of the sequel is where he's just like explaining the ostrich. Everything, yeah, yeah. And then it finally gets like, you don't know this. One would more fact. Would you just skip to the end? <laughs> One last fact: they will attack yeah. and provoke. Boom! <laughs> they just start hitting everybody. <laughs> that was probably the best part about the second movie. Technically magic because they magically got sucked into a video game, so. I think the first Jumanji with Robin Williams would classify more. But I mean, guess And they yeah. even called back to him in, in the... In the first in one, the yeah. Because he's yeah. living um, in... The, the Jonas Brothers was uh, Parrish. Yeah. Alan he was Parrish living in Alice. Shack. Yep. yep. Old um, Alan Parrish. <laughs> Alan Parrish. Well, you forgot. I mean, since you mentioned genies, you get Aladdin. Yeah, and you know. I like I like the um, the uh, live action version. Get the fuck out! Why? That movie sucked off. You watch Kazam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So did Sh- Gavin. Shazam. No. Oh, no, no, yeah, Kazam. I was and talking about Kazam. By the way, Shazam. Shazam is also magic. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to stick away from the DCU and the MCU. I was going to say Dr. Strange. Yeah. And, you know. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking Well, you know, we obviously, we don't need to talk about Harry Potter. We already did a whole episode. Yeah, I was yeah. going to say, we don't need to get into that one. the 26 people that died they, from that movie. <laughs> those movies exist. They do involve magic. We agree. We know. We're moving on. We know. <laughs> we as, know you as, know. And as, they're good. A lot of them are just solid movies. As yeah. I haven't brought up my Space Wizards from Star Wars. Yet. Nope, that's it. <laughs> Star Wars moving on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, one more terrible film that starred Will Smith, and it was a Netflix original movie that was promoted to be like this, like Netflix was entering the big boy time with mm-hmm. this movie, and it's called Bright. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Well, they were trying to do, um, that was kind of like doing uh, Warhammer, yeah. basically. And they just, they skipped all the medieval stuff and just put it, Live action, like, in today time. Yeah. Wait a minute. Like, what if fairies and goblins and everything were today? And But it, 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 but they kept calling back, well, you know, 3,000 years yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. we did blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and, like, wands are very, like nukes, basically, in this world. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, it's and, a nuclear weapon. <laughs> I, I do like how, I, I don't know. Yeah, I. so in the movie, like, he's trying to sell his house and move out of, like, what is, like, mythical Compton basically <laughs> and he's a cop and like he's like there's it's called Comptron yeah Comptron. <laughs> there's you know orc gangbangers like his neighbors and like this little fairy is just flying around right, his house yeah. and he's <laughs> just like you need to get out of here and then he kills it with a bat and he's like fairy lives don't matter today and then he just goes back inside and throws down the bat wow. I was like that was when his, his wife keeps yelling you said you were going to do something about that thing it's a fairy <laughs> <laughs> What do I do about it? Like, you said you was going to get rid of it. All right, I'll get rid of it. All right. And then he takes the bat. Yeah. <laughs> which, so which pauses, um, like, an ethical question. Was that a fairy, like, a living... Or was it... In that world, are fairies just, like, gnats or bees or something? Or was that just, like, Tinkerbell that he squished with the bat? Yes. <laughs> the answer is we'll yes. We'll go with that. Okay. Because <laughs> the way he... I don't know. I think slaughtered it. I think uh, Tony is bored by this question. I'm just like, I'm just trying to ponder. Just, they're fairies. You're just pondering. You're just pondering. <laughs> you know, it's fucking fairy, man. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I don't know. Did he kill Tinkerbell or did he kill, like, their world of a bee? Yes. I, I don't know. Well, the way he did it makes me think, I hope it was, like, a bee. <laughs> or the cop just committed homicide. Well, people are cruel. <laughs> I mean, what do you want me to say? Well, I was yeah, going to say, he's... He's a cop, so he can't call himself. Yeah. <laughs> Have you not gone outside in like 38 years? I try really hard. Kong that. ain't got nothing on me. People are cruel. Yes, yeah. they are. Yes, they are. So I don't think it matters whether you squash Tinkerbell or a gnat. It's like you still killed something. Uh, there are probably three people listening and or watching to this, hoping we're going to talk about a uh, trilogy of movies. There is no actual magic in Magic Mike. So we will not be mentioning them. Sorry. I don't think there was anybody out there. Oh, there were a few no. people. I'll what? guarantee it. What? Uh, I'm glad I don't know them. <laughs> Same. I, Same. I, I, so, yeah, you, you can't just put the word magic in something. and then be a That's what I'm explaining movie. to the very few people. <laughs> magical, mystical. Well, now there would be some women that probably saw that movie and like, that's some magical yeah. stuff right there. You got Touché. Matthew McConaughey. And this is with that. <laughs> and Touché. 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 But all them, they're almost nude. <laughs> that's magical to them. It he melts their hearts. And that was for them. Yeah. He said, all right, all right, all right. Uh, She's like, actually... he made my panties disappear. <laughs> <laughs> that was magic. <laughs> So, yes, those are not magic movies. <laughs> yeah. Not the kind of magic we're talking about. To the about. right viewer. Yes. <clears throat> um, but you also have, you have, like, Practical Magic, Sabrina yeah. the Teenage Witch, which was a movie before it was a show. Take your word on Practical it. Magic was the one with um, Sandra Bullock, yep. right? Yeah, and uh, yep. Nicole Kidman yep. was, uh, was the other one. Burying the guy in the back. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I killed him, but I didn't want him to die. <laughs> it was an accident, Mama. Well, okay. uh, all right. So, so, so kind of like on the burying and coming back to life. I mean, you could bring in Pet Cemetery. Oh, yeah, I was going to actually, yeah. Especially since we're still in Spooktober. Spooky. At the time of this recording, we it will it will <clears throat> not be, but yeah, no, the the recording is well, by the time post, we release. Yeah. It will it'll not. be the day after. Yeah, it'll be November. Literally the day after. <laughs> <laughs> it'll be November. November. <laughs> 
Well, you also have The Illusionist, mm-hmm. which, mm-hmm. I mean... Now, is that the one... Um, yes. Maybe. So there's a movie where two magicians are going head-to-head, coming out with bigger and bigger tricks, and no. one of them comes up with this trick. And That's... Um, Michael Caine's in it, too, I think. He is. Uh, it's it's Hugh Jackman and... Um, oh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, um, the Greatest Showman? No. It's The Prestige. The Prestige, the Prestige yeah. yeah. Greatest yeah. Showman was about Barnum and Bailey. That, yep. that is a mind fuck of a movie. Yes, it is. It, that... that yeah, that but I always your, get those two. Computers. It hurts your brain. <laughs> My brain hurts, Mama. It does. To man. be fair, I, mine hurts all the time. But yeah, so uh, yeah, uh, Hugh Jackman ends up going over and and uh, befriending uh, Nikolai Tesla, and he makes a machine for him mm-hmm. that replicates stuff, and he ends up finding. Yeah, they out find that like the field of dead hats or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he also finds out that he can replicate a human. So Hugh Jackman ends up just basically killing himself over and over and over. <laughs> yeah. That's magic. Oh, that's magic. I'm just trying to th- trying to think of uh, ones that I've seen. Because, I mean, off the top of my like I can think of them. But then when I'm trying to <clears throat> pinpoint them, since someone took now you see me. <laughs> I could have talked a lot more on that. but <clears throat> Fill in the uh, gaps. What, you no, I know. The, I'm um, done. <laughs> We have the evil version of, of Magic, which is the Warlock series. Yeah. Which is like the reverse of uh, Aladdin. Yeah. <laughs> he gives you wishes, but you don't want them. <laughs> no. No, he was always... Well, also, like that is kind of similar to Wishmaster. Yeah. The Wishmaster yep. series, too. Mm-hmm. Like, that's the guy you had to be careful with wishing, because he would, he would grant it, but it would be... It would, it would be screwed up in a way. Very, very Beda- it was like It was like bedazzled. Yeah. 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 It was like, oh, I want to be an athlete, but I have a very small weenie. Yeah. <laughs> or like, I want to be rich and famous, and I'm gay. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm playing a homosexual. <laughs> <laughs> um, just real quick, this is a movie I wanted to talk about, but, you know, we've told, we spoke on this before how we all have our phones out, and we're looking at lists just as a reminder of all the movies that we try and keep in our bread thing. In our bread? Our bread thing. Bread, the bread, not brain. Bread. The, the bread Mine, thing. there's a loaf of bread in, up in here. In our bread yeah. box? Yep. <laughs> In our bread um, thing. In the bread box. <laughs> there is a list on here that says magic horror movies. And the first one is called Master of Illusions. Yeah. Okay. Lord of Illusions. I'm Lord sorry. of Illusions, yeah. Oh, that's fine. That seems creepy as fuck. I don't ever want to see this yeah. movie. That was, that was uh, 90s, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, 95. Yeah. I, re- I remember seeing it. I can't... I probably couldn't tell you the plot on it, but I'm pretty sure... But it's... I just want to... I brought that up to tell you this. The second movie on that list is Hocus Pocus. Who the hell thinks that's a horror movie? Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't see that. I mean, no I, one. It's, <laughs> it's like you know, you got stuff that jumps out at you, like the cat and, and that stuff, but that's it. Like it's not. Binks know. gets run over, and sure, that's sad, but he inflates his rib cage, and he's fine. Again. It, and well, I mean, I, and I'll give it to him. You know, they did. It was a Disney movie where they killed a child in the first five minutes of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> but it's, once again, sad. Not horror. It's sad. Who who what else calls you got on your child... list? Magic Mike is a magic comedy. Who calls child killing horror? You know, I mean, it's, it's tragic. That's what it is. <laughs> it's tragic. It's a Greek tragedy in modern times. <laughs> so here, let's do this. Since you have a list pulled out, mm-hmm. you come up, see if uh, name one, see if we know it. And if we know anything about it. Yeah. So you want me to see if I can find like um, just a any, random yeah. movie? Yeah. yeah, just anything. See if we know. Uh, but we, have to give magic. You, we have to give you some kind of description on it. Okay. Um, I'm automatically excluding everything I've even seen. Oh, fantastic. Fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm not making this easy on That's you guys. three movies. <laughs> <laughs> and the I'm also getting fun. rid of anything made by Miyazaki because Tony hasn't watched any of them. Although Howl's Moving Castle is a great magic movie. Um, let's see here. Um, this one, I don't even know. Let's debate this one real quick. Okay. okay. So on this list is uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. So I don't know if that's a magic movie. No. Yeah. No. It's, it's a World War II. That's a crossover II. of animation and live action. Yeah. That's, so it's a World War both like World Space season. Jam or... Yeah. 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 Or what's right. that, what was that other one with, uh, what's his name? Kim Basinger was in it. Cool World. It was, I think oh, it was Brad yeah, yeah, Pitt yeah. was in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the artist and he mm-hmm. kept getting sucked into the other... World, yeah, and, and the other one with um, uh, Monkey Bone with uh, oh, yeah. uh, with, with Brendan Fraser. Fraser, yeah, 
All these cartoon crossovers. <laughs> Excuse me, miss. I'll be right with you after I spank my monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I can't find anything. I can. I'm just. I've actually seen a lot of these movies, and some of these are just way too easy. I'm not going to ask you about Snow White and the Huntsman. Damn it! (laughs) Um, I'm also not going to mention that movie because I want to talk about it at one point. (laughs) Tony doesn't care about Lord of the Rings. We've all seen Doctor Strange. Okay, here's one: Avengers Grimm. I I know of it. I don't. I have not seen it. Seriously, you know of it? I know this is like one B class movie right here. Yeah, I don't. I know the Brothers Grimm. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know the Avengers Grimm. The Rumble still can destroy a magic yeah. mirror to create a portal to Earth, taking four fairy tale princesses along with them. The princesses use their martial and magical powers to battle the trickster and his army of thralls to save the planet. It sounds dope, but I've never heard of this movie. I've heard. Is that on Netflix? Uh, uh, Pluto. On Pluto? Mm-hmm. That may be where I came across it because I, I go through Tubi and Pluto a lot. Just scan Lou it Ferrigno is in this movie and it came out in 2015. Lou <laughs> Ferrigno. Oh, Lou Ferrigno still Don't make him angry. I mean, yeah. You wouldn't like he, him when he's angry. Outside of cameos and Hulk movies, he's pretty much retired at this point. Eh. Oh, he, did, he was in uh, King of Queens a lot. He was, he yeah, was but that show ended in 2008. Are we going to debate this all day? Are we going to debate Lou Ferrigno's appearances or we're going to get back to magic? Fine. I'm going to ask you about Mary Poppins. Just a spoonful of sugar helps some medicine go down. Um, all right, I've actually seen this movie in theaters, Golden Compass. Mm. I never actually watched it, I don't think. It's not bad. It, yeah, it's, so it's basically a world where they have like this, they, what do they call it, the mist? Something I, or like dust that. Is uh, what's, dust. It's yeah. what's like encompass the, the whole population. Mm-hmm. And so they have these, uh, they, they actually call them demons. So okay. they're kind of like a familiar that goes with you everywhere you go. Okay. And at, at a certain point when you age out or something, they like take their permanent form. Okay. So it follows this little girl who is... Um, She's like a senator's daughter or something. Yeah, like that. yeah. And, and um, they're trying to... They end up trying to develop this machine to cut the connection, the magical connection between the kids and their demons or, or okay. their familiar or whatever. Huh. It did didn't get a lot of good reviews. It did not. It, and I think it sparked a show that did worse. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. We could do better. No, we can't. Yeah, we, no, we, we just did better. Empirically, worse. we cannot. <laughs> All right. Next movie is called The Love Witch. I have not seen that That either. one, no. Yeah, there's not even like big named actors attached to this. Um, Elaine, played by Samantha Robinson, a beautiful young witch, is determined to find a man to love her. In her gothic Victorian apartment, she makes spells and potions and then picks up men and seduces them. However, her spells work too well. She ends up <laughs> with a string of hapless victims. When when she last meets the man of her dreams, her desperation to be loved drives her to the brink of insanity and murder. Hmm. I mean, it sounds cool. I mean, I like the insanity and murder. <clears throat> <laughs> now, technically, before you get to your next one, because say- they used voodoo in it in, in the original and all the other was, I mean... Uh, child's play. Yeah. Could be yeah. technically because he voodoo dolled him or voodooed himself into a doll. So you know, I was I was gonna cut over to Bewitched. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. With um Will Ferrell. Will Ferrell, yep. yeah. I never saw the movie. I watched the original like nineteen seventy show because it was on Nick at Night when I was falling and, asleep. And so that's what they were doing. They were like making a, a movie or it was like a movie of them filming the show. Yeah. Um and them trying to find her as they're remaking the show. I'm dead yeah. <laughs> I've only got one line. <laughs> what you got there? I think this is a decom, so I'm not even going to bring it up. Yep. Right. yep. <clears throat> um. Once again, then we got Chronicles of Narnia, and Super Evil Geek. Dead. Mm. That's about curses. Yeah. Yes, it is. Natsu, Barata, Niggle, Nectar. What the What the hell was that last word? <laughs> you said the words, right? Yeah, I said some version of them. <laughs> When thou misspoke the words, the army of the dead has arisen. I said your damn words, and I brought your damn book. <laughs> All right, uh, one more before um, I do want to take a few minutes to talk about another trilogy of movies. Okay. Um, but this one is called the, um, not even the, it's just Bell, Book, and Candle. I have no idea. Never heard of it. Mr. Gavin? No. <laughs> Pass. Well, this movie came out in 1958. Oh, well, that would probably be why. <laughs> in the late 50s, Gillian Holroyd, played by Kim Novak, is a modern-day witch living in New York City's Greenwich Village. When she encounters a charming publisher, 
um, Shepard Henderson, played by James Stewart, she decides to make him hers by casting a love spell. Gillian takes her added pleasures in doing so because Henderson is engaged uh, to her old college rival. However, Gillian finds herself uh, actually falling for Shepard, which poses a problem. Aww. She will lose her powers if she falls in love. Aww. Okay. <laughs> <sighs> So what did you want to talk about? What was the trilogy? Yeah. What? <laughs> I want to talk about The Mummy. And those three. Okay. Not the one with um, Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the, they good to, yeah. Where the good they ones. Yeah. The good ones. Rearrange or bring back the monster verse with yeah. uh, Jekyll and Hyde. And, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> Wolf had such the great, Wolfman. Yeah. Yeah. Dracula. It had Dracula. such great potential. It the, did. It did. The movie sucks so hard. And we do, a, a friend of the show, Doug Sherhart, knows why it failed and he won't tell us. He's gonna, Doug, he's we gonna need to talk. Take it we to his grave. To speak. Literally. <laughs> um, but the first movie starring Brendan Fraser um, and Rachel Weiss. Yep. No. Yes. Okay. One and two. Yeah. Rachel and then Weiss. they replace Rachel Weiss with someone else in the third one. Contract dispute. <laughs> <laughs> um, but they are just. I remember seeing them when I was in my um, early to mid teens, and they are just really fun movies. Yeah. Like, um, uh, Rachel Weiss plays a uh, anthropologist, and she's um, or an Egyptologist. She's studying ancient Egyptian cultures, and she's looking for Hamanatra, the city of the dead. Mm-hmm. And they stumble upon Brendan Fraser, who has actually been there. And then they call bullshit, and he actually leads them there. One of the best parts of the fun uh, first movie is um, the other crew. Um, Benny. Yeah, hires Benny, um, Brendan his, Fraser's like partner yeah, from the counterpart, the little, yeah. Yeah. little coward. <laughs> yeah, but they're on like an old steam because this takes place in like the twenties or thirties. So they're on a steamboat going down the, the Nile, mm-hmm. um, and then it gets set on fire, and they everyone abandons ship, and they all, all swim to shore. <laughs> Benny says, "Hey O'Connor, it looks like I have all the horses," and he's like, "Hey Benny, it looks like you're on the wrong side of the river." And yeah, he's yeah, he's standing around. The- Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, long story short, they all read Tom and Asher at the same place, but Rachel Weiss finds the actual Book of the Dead and raises a mummy who needs to now kill people. Um, uh, you know, and Fair. then they do a lot of mummy ritual magic stuff to put him back in the sarcophagus. And then the second yeah, movie they comes were, around. They were originally looking for the Book of the Living, yeah, but they which found... was which was solid gold. Mm-hmm. And then they found, yeah, they found the Book of the Dead, which they always find back. the Book of the Dead. Yeah. Um, and then why then you bring this... shit back? <laughs> The second one was actually uh, more action oriented because there was a fight on a double decker London bus that was really cool. And I also heard that, um, and this is a, kind of a side note, that um, The Rock kind of bullied Ben and Frazier on that set, which kind of almost pushed him, like started pushing him out of acting. I did not hear that. Like he's just being a giant dick or something? Yeah. yeah. And that's pretty much. Right. I also because, learned- you know, Brendan Frazier at the time had like kind of stopped. You know, by, he he wasn't like big Brendan Fraser, yeah. like uh, was that yeah. furry the whale. movie or something? Yeah, well, definitely not the way. Well, that was a fat suit too. He lost a lot of weight. True, true, and and, and um, but you know, he had he was not George of the Jungle in yeah. the second movie, no. but he still wasn't like mm. no, he was. He's not like Dude, I'm walking. I up would to... love his physique. In yeah. The... <laughs> yeah. Um, but I also um, another quick side note. I heard that The Rock puts in all of his movie contracts that he's not allowed to lose a fight. Hmm. I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah. Same, and apparently Vin Diesel does the same thing. Yeah, they seem that type. Oh, <laughs> great. So that's why they never fought each other in the show. Yeah, <laughs> now I know the reason. Wait, they both won? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're both unconscious? Draw? You don't see the rest of it because it's like the ending of Rocky, or Rocky 2. Oh, yeah, when, when they, they just, all, when when they they just punch yeah, in a freeze right. ramp <laughs> at the first hitting it. <laughs> That's how they played it That's off. That's how they, you know? yeah. Leave it to the Face imagination. Face the black right yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Leave First it to punch the... gets thrown. Audience <laughs> imagination. <laughs> uh, but no, the, the Mummies are is a great um, movie trilogy. No, I like the Mummies. Yeah. The third one kind of... Uh, yeah. I, I like that they tried something new, but I, I, it just didn't land as well as the first two. No. No. no I, I they like tried. how they moved away from Egyptian Mummies and they went to they Chinese Warlords. They tried too much. Um, <laughs> Who had their own version of tombs and they buried their armies, so you know, and they had their own version the of Terracotta magic and Army. mystical. Yeah. So it wasn't like outside of the realm of possibility that Jet Li was gonna come back and fuck some shit up. No. But it just I don't know, it wasn't as engaging as the first two, in my yeah. opinion. I hear you. So, and on that note though, yes. <laughs> we're gonna have to start wrapping up here in a minute because we got a couple <coughs> minutes left, but any final thoughts on magic? 
Uh, generally, they could be fun movies. Sometimes they could be truly disgusting and awful. Or sometimes well, be and, scary. And then, you know, I, I, I also like the ones, you know, like we said earlier about uh, Now You See Me and like even The Oceans where... It's like close-up magic. Yeah, it yeah. looks it, it looks like magic at the front end, but you, you see all the steps that made it happen on the back end, and yeah. you're like, oh, wow. Slide a hand. So that's, yeah. yeah, exactly. It's like when see people Mr. like pull out a card <laughs> on their fingers and only because you didn't see it folded behind their yeah, hand exactly. the entire time. A buddy of mine actually took like three months to learn how to do that with a, a playing card. He tried to show me. I was like, I'm not, I'm not dedicating that much time to it. So dude. we'll come in with a, with an honorable mention of the amazing Burt Wonderstone. Oh, God. Which was a silly-ass fucking movie. <laughs> but, oh, but that's and, the thing. is like Alan Arkin is in yeah. there trying to teach you. He's like, I can see the car. And he's like slapping his hand. <laughs> you got like Jim Carrey as the Chris Angel. Like, yeah, wannabe. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he's just doing disgusting things. Like, like, he's like, wait. He punched me in the face. <laughs> oh, there's something in there. He like cuts his face and pulls out a car. Is this your car? <laughs> but as always... <coughs> quick shout out to Mr. Mongorium's Wonder Emporium. That's a great movie we didn't get to talk yes. about. And if there's any, as always, if there's anything we missed, let us know. We'll be glad to mention it next time. Mm-hmm. Uh, but we do have to start wrapping it up. So thank you all for joining us talking about magical and magical in the heart movies. <laughs> uh, but until next time for Movie Talks and Chill, we're your hosts. I'm Tony Serrato. I'm Gavin Butts. I'm Patrick Wall. All right, and guys. don't forget, I still have the competition. Send us that email. I will read it. Yes. All right, guys. Do it. Take care. Do it. <laughs>